Hey, I will continue to introduce you. Oh, introduce Google Data Studio for you. Oh, you to Google Data Studio. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, never mind. What do I do when I create the new report? The first of all, I do this theme and layout. Let's open here and um, we can do, we can start from scratch, blank report and create a new report. Uh, when we create a new report, uh, we need to add a data source first. Uh, I will use demo Google Analytics account. So I click here, demo account, let's do universal master view. Uh, everyone can connect, can have Google Analytics demo account. It's really worth to have it, to register it and add to your Google Analytics. You can find it in the Google, like it will be the first link when you uh, type Google Analytics demo account. So I will not teach you how to do it, it's easy. So we have here the table, we have the uh, untitled report, white page, and uh, the first table. It's gray and white and maybe not so beautiful. So I will rename the report. Uh, then go to theme and layout and let's do a overview what do we have here. Um, we have here uh, like some different themes, um, but I recommend you to create your own because I take colors and try to replicate my customer's website style that it's nice uh, when I have all materials um, looking the same or like if it is an agency, it is nice if you have like all reports in your style, it looks professional. So I recommend you to create your own theme. theme. I can create some charts that you see better. What do we have here? A there. Um, and maybe text box. Um, just to see how we will change everything. I will change here to user type just to make it more beautiful um, just an example okay so uh, theme and layout we have right menu and click customize first of all we have report background we can change it and it's easy to change we, for example we can do gray uh, text style it is a main text so it will apply to um, text in a table, uh, we can change it just to see how it is, and you can see that it is legend for chart, text, and uh, the text box as well. Uh, we can do it black or a bit gray. Uh, then we have um, font, font we can use something, uh, we cannot choose a lot of, diff we don't have a lot of different fonts here. But anyway, I tried to find something more or less in the client style. Again, it is important to, it looks more professional when you, when your report looks similar with the client web style, uh, website. Uh, so then we have company and background and border. Uh, this will apply to charts. We can create white, white and you see that it's now we have white background uh, then we have a border um let's do just you can see it um actually it's uh, it could be a mess when you have a lot of elements and this might prefer uh, i prefer to use the simple web uh, the simple style with minimum elements with il minimum everything maybe it is not so trendy now, but it looks light and uh, easy to read. So usually I don't use border, so we can do transparent and none. 
uh, corners sometimes yeah it's nice to do like that but usually I don't use it uh, transparent solid oh, I think it's, you can understand what is it border shadow uh, when you click default it means yes usually uh, when you click yes mm. okay let's create a new chart no okay okay I uh, don't know why it doesn't work uh, shadow looks like that again sometimes it's nice but usually I don't use it to make report later and easier to read so border shadow shadow by default no it should work I don't know maybe it's some bug of Google Data Studio from today but usually it works accent style it means style of titles uh, we can do I don't know anyone uh, we can do like that actually uh, last time I like to use uh, the title the table header um, the same color as a table and just use the ascent like different color of the text again it is because it could look lighter but depending on your project or project you can change it and uh, font I recommend you I hardly recommend you to use the same font that you use for main to the regular text and because if you didn't work with web design with design before um, it's it's a it's a rule you should use their minimum amount of different fonts uh, uh, well, it's possible that it's possible because um, yeah so component background gain uh, yeah we, we already did it um, text box style you can see that it's the same like with elements and uh, here link style link style I recommend you to change to your style hide border yeah agree hide border and I change colors and here we move to data styles and this I change and this is important to change because when you create a new chart it's easier to when you have a him for the whole report you don't need to change colors for each chart and each table so it will already apply for all elements how do I do it I take colors from my client um, I, it is my report so I can do like that I can can co I just can copy colors from my st from my report <laughs> this is a silly thing of, about Google Data Studio maybe uh, I hope they will fix it, but for now, what you can see, uh, when I click to the chart palette, I have this scroll, this tiny scroll on the right side. And if I scroll down, I can see this. So it's silly, uh, but it is a bug. And I really hope that Google Data Studio will fix it soon. So I can click plus, I copy this number and uh, scroll down, <laughs> apply this number. And you see, I already have uh, this uh, color changed in our chart. And what else? I can apply this color for titles and use it for links. It is nice. It is a small detail, but it's, it makes your work more professional and nice. Uh, I will copy another color. For example, your client have uh, has a website with uh, two main colors and that is it what we can do with other colors for this I use color wheels um, I don't want to create some like I don't I want that colors will match to each other that they fit to each other and because of that uh, already everything already created everything already <laughs> exists so uh, we can google color wheel picker and for example the first link will be to adobe font, font <laughs> com and here what we can do we have different scheme and we can 
copy our code here, con control C, and paste it here. And you see that we have already several col colors that match the good match to your website, to your client style. So we can click here, copy, paste, and uh, apply here, and like that. I change colors. I change colors for the first row. Usually it's enough, and uh, just for myself, what I do. Uh, the second row I just do like from black to white. I just do like that. I just do a grayscale. Mm, that is it. So I change the first row, uh, taking colors from color wheel. You can click here, you can see different uh, lines, different, you know, can I say scales? Uh, in this case, um, mm, of colors and you can apply it here. The second line I do like from black to white or from white to black. Uh, uh, next, chart styling default. Dimension value, it's okay. And uh, sometimes I change some dimension values. I don't do it from the beginning, but during my work, I can change it. For example, I want that um, I have five stores and I want to make them a special I want to have special colors for them. I have several countries and I want to have them in special colors I don't, I don't know like uh, or channel at the channel uh, something like that and sometimes I change dimension value colors. Um, mm -mm -mm. text contrast I don't change company grades usually I use this you saw. We can do it to the table lines. Oh, we can use transparent or like some light, light gray. Yeah, depend of your preference. And this positive and negative change style. Um, if you have green color here and green color here, probably they will not match to each other. So if your client has green and red colors uh, in the website style, I recommend you to change uh, these colors as well, because it's not, it's okay if your client has like blue style or like black and white style website. So in this case, we can leave it like that and it will be okay. But if you have already something green, it's more beautiful to use the same, same color here. Show on hover, what is it? Chart header and this thing. Um, show or not show? It depends. For example, here I don't, if I, okay, let's go to the view mode. If I click here, I can export to Google Sheet, for example, or Excel. And uh, here the same, I can export this data. If we want to hide this option and we don't want that client can download our data, Client, I don't know. Um, report customer <laughs> uh, don't have ac doesn't have access to download the data. Uh, better to do not show header. You see, so we don't have this opportunity now. And uh, when we have this opportunity, we can change the color. Mm. And if you prefer, I don't know. Um, what next? Page navigation style. Okay, let's add one page. And we have navigation now. So you can see this bar on the left side. Click customize. Uh, scroll down. And uh, yeah, I like to change to have it the same colors. Uh, I like to have it the same colors that we have in the report. I just did. I selected the random one, uh, but use the same color that you use here. Um, again, it's small detail, but the big result <laughs> consists of con uh, from small, small details contained. Uh, we can build, build big results from small details. Okay, 
background. If you want, you can change even the background. But uh, that is it about them. And what about layout? What I can do here? Uh, here are visible, always show as you prefer. Here I prefer this tab. But again, sometimes I do, I create some links to different pages. And in this case, I hid, hide um, the header, respect report theme. If we use it, we can change the color. If we don't use it, we have uh, Google Data Studio colors. Uh, here, I like to fit white because if you have different, uh, screen it will fit to your laptop to your screen if it is actual actual size okay if you have 1200 it will be 1200 in any screen uh, margin I don't know I don't use it uh, here you can use um, the change the size of your report uh, if you want to show it like a presentation, it's good to use this side. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, like landscape, this side, it's nice for presentation, like PowerPoint or kind of like that. Um, usually I just put uh, numbers that I need. Usually it looks like, <laughs> usually it looks like, oh my God. <laughs> like that, <laughs> but depend on the report, depend on their client. This I don't change. This I don't change. Uh, report level components position. I can show you. Okay, we can move here. Click right button to the chart, and make report level. <clears throat> it means that this chart will be on every page. And uh, theme and layout, layout. And this we can change the top on button as you need again. So that that is it. Uh, that is first steps that I do when I create a new report. Here I already have it. You can see that I have uh, colors from color wheels like black to white thing, uh, links. I used this purple uh, rose. Uh, oh, I did change it here, but. Oh no, I changed it. I used this green. So I didn't use the first one, I used this green. It's possible as well. Uh, okay, so we did the first step. On the next lessons, we will go further and we'll go step by step. We'll, we'll, we will create this report uh, step by step. I chose this report because it's really nice. I use Google Analytics demo account here, so everyone can repeat these uh, actions with me. And this report has different filters and blended data, so it's nice to test these things, these tools from Google Data Studio. Okay, that is it for now. Uh, see you, see you next time, and bye bye.